Hi, I'm Amrit, lead author of the paper entitled Macular Thickness and Macular Volume Measurements Using Spectral Term in Optical Coherence Tomography in Normal Neplicides, recently published in Clinical Ophthalmology. First of all, I would very much like to thank the journal for publishing this paper of ours. My collaborators are Dr. Jyoti Babasrasta and Gaurishan Kusrasta. Speaking of what motivated us to perform this research work, I'd like to note certain things. We as eye care practitioners get to see an increasingly large number of patients with retinal disorders such as vein occlusion and diabetic macular edema, to name but a few. The diagnosis of and treatments for these conditions can be done best with the aid of the OCT. The treatment is said to come to fruition only when the swollen retina in case of edema or the thinned out retina reverts as close to its baseline state as possible. Now the problem is what are the macular baseline values or normative data? Since we've been comparing our population, that is the population here, with the population from which normative data have been collected, it could be that we've not been doing justice to the patients here because the populations are not the same. It is because of this particular reason we wanted to establish normative data base for people from our part of the world. Also, another reason is that we wanted to establish a normative database in emetropic healthy eyes. I would like to point out similar previous studies involved healthy eyes with refractive error. This in particular makes our study really unique. We conducted this study at a tertiary level eye hospital. We did a comprehensive eye examination, including, but not limited to, slit lamp examination and retinoscopy to make sure that there were no ocular disease and refractive error. Here you can see the OCD is underway. There are certain appealing findings in the study. We've observed that the central subfield thickness does not significantly correlate with age. We have observed, however, that minimum foveal thickness decreases with age. What we have discovered, most importantly, is that gender-wise, the average macular thickness, the central subfield thickness, and minimum foveal thickness are all thinner in females, which could in part be blamed for a female preponderance in macular hole. The female preponderance thing was also reported by a study done by Tapa et al. in this country. When our study reports larger thickness values for almost nine sections compared to other studies, interestingly, we discovered that our subject's macular volume was smaller. Gender-wise, males and females did not significantly differ over the total macular volume. For more detail, please have a look at our paper. Thank you.